Lone Star Discs sent us their entire line of current discs and we are just very excited to do this unboxing. We lack so much experience with this brand and you would probably be the same. They only were established in 2020, but they've been able to pump out a ton of molds in a very short period of time. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use their website, some of the info, as well as some of their clips to give you guys a better understanding on their discs and just how they fly. So let's get into it. So let's just jump in. This is the least prepared video that we've ever done, but we think that's gonna add some value to you guys as we discover and better understand these discs. So let's just open it up. Okay, so the box is open. I, I don't even wanna look. I honestly don't even wanna look from the top down. We're gonna move it off to the side. I really want this to be a surprise for ourselves as well as you guys. So let's, let's just start off, let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember I remember looking at uh, this disc in the PDGA approved disc, seeing the name Tumbleweed, seeing the way it flies, and I just thought that's probably one of the best names you can name an understable kind of distance driver. So it's a 10, 6, minus 4, and 1. Um, this plastic, again, we're not super familiar. It's the Bravo plastic, as we can see here, which we'll get into the plastics maybe at the end. Uh, but it's more of a premium plastic. It does have kind of that lower nose angle to show that it is understable. Easy, easy beginner disc, honestly, if you want to get up to a faster speed. But great roller disc, I'm sure, in the future. Great big, I guess, hyzer flip lines as well as what this could be used for yeah and just in terms of just the flexibility of this disc with the bravo plastic it's very flexible very flexible so some people are going to like that some people are not but again you got to expect some turn out of this thing okay let's get the next one what we got here the guadalupe seven six minus two and two so again just a stable meaning straight flying disc for someone who's more experienced going to get some nice easy turn out of it someone who's less experienced is probably still going to get some hyzer out of this disc uh, but it has incredible glide and glide is going to be very important for someone who has less experience now we've already mentioned this before less glide is good for being accurate right the more the disc wants to hang in the air and float the less accurate you can be but it seems really cool love that it's a seven speed as well this one's 171 grams bravo plastic once again and so the bravo plastic is obviously one of their more premium plastics and a grippier one as well kind of similar to maybe maybe the g-star a little bit maybe the k1 a little bit i uh, love the name guadalupe aka guad is what i did see all right we're reaching in for another Ah, yes, the Jack Rabbit. Uh, this says V1 plastic. So to me, this is more of a base plastic, but giving a lot more grip. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that. A ton more grip. Uh, has a bead, noticing that right now. Has a, a very small bead. Again, some people like that, some people don't. A bead really is for two reasons. One, some people like it just for how it feels in the fingers fitting into those crevices, but also it just adds a little bit more over stability to the disc. It holds its uh, stability a little bit longer. It's actually a 3303, so it's more of an overstable approach disc. Not sure if you'd wanna use it for putting because it gets up to that three speed, too much over stability, you can't get the putts to the basket as well. But it looks like they're aiming for, you know, the zone type disc, the pig, the harp type disc. That's kind of what they're going for with this and obviously there are other examples that exist really good for the wind spike kaisers flex lines um i think this disc is going to do do some damage for them so cool disc let's move on to the next one reaching in for what's next Ooh, this has got to be some kind of distance driver we got the warbird 12 6 minus 1 and 3 you know with these numbers you're really seeing the similarity to the most popular disc the destroyer but with a little bit more glide at least that is their assumption with the six glide so uh yeah this one may be a little bit harder for more people to get out there and throw properly um a lot of people are going to use it for flex shots because they maybe don't have the power of the 12 speed feels pretty good in the hand this plastic is looking like it's the alpha plastic so you know what what we got to do right now is we just got to look at the different plastics before we move on okay so 
when looking at their plastics, the V1 and the V2, the Jackrabbit was a V1. They actually float in the water and they're very soft and gummy. So again, a base plastic. The Bravo shares the same qualities as the Alpha, but is more flexible. So like that tumbleweed, they also have a glow similar to the Bravo, but it obviously shines. And the Bravo and the glow are slightly more torque resistant. And the, it says the Alpha really is the best representation of the true flight numbers. All right, let's take the next one. I think this one's a fair way. Ooh, the Dose X. Eight, four, minus one, and two. A little bit less glide for a little bit more accuracy. Eight speed. How does it feel under the hand? Still got a lot, enough room. Feels pretty comfortable. This one is the Alpha, the Alpha Plastic. So a little bit more stiff, not as gummy as the Bravo. So upon just looking this disc up, talking about a deep rim for players with larger hands. So that's always a good thing if you have bigger hands and you find a lot of the discs feel small. They mentioned just flying straight with just a reliable finish as to be expected. Some people even call it like a long distance accurate mid range, which is pretty interesting. Seems to me like they're going for more accurate distance than just pure out distance with this disc. Really cool, love the name as well. Going in for another, taking a look at this one. Here it is, the Armadillo. Ooh, this one's like a teal one with a gold foil. One, two, zero, and one. I think we're gonna have to do a bit of a comparison with the Berg to see how this disc compares. It feels different than the Berg, I'll say that. It's concaved a little bit around the edge here, but you know, when you put your hand there, you're not really noticing that rim unless you're right up against it. Really interesting, definitely one of their base. What is it, the V2? It, yeah, just like the Berg, it's something where you, you hold it and you're like, I don't know about this. First time if you ever hold these type of discs, but the performance is usually unmatched for these type. They're really just supposed to go straight exactly where you want it, even when you throw it at a pretty high speed. Pretty cool, like the feel, gonna have to get out and throw this. All right, what do we got next? Going in, getting better at definitely feeling and better understanding discs just by grabbing them. But uh, this one's the Mockingbird. Kaka! Kaka is what it says. Beautiful colors though with the blue and the red. I'm gonna say this one is more uh, understable just by, the, oh man, yeah, just by how the rim looks. So upon looking at this disc, it's a 7.5 minus two and one so very comparable to something like a leopard three very controllable type fairway driver and they mentioned on their site and i would agree it's meant for all skill levels all skill levels can benefit someone with less skill less power is going to just really love how straight this flies with a nice fade finish someone with more power or someone who just wants to put more power is going to be able to hold a turn and just kind of get those turnover shots working so really cool workable disc i love the caca that they put on the disc it just makes it fun and who doesn't like fun going in for another Ooh, and god we trust penny putter i think that's george washington uh gummy seems like it's the bravo yep it's the bravo plastic seems to me like a very standard abr type putter that's kind of what it feels like to me i'm kind of more comfortable with this but because it's bravo it's a little bit more gummy so on their site they mentioned that it's beadless of course i can feel that it's neutral good for just kind of weaving shots through wooded courses which i can definitely understand with this disc but what's more interesting is how the flight pattern changes depending on the plastic so for the v1 and the v2 their base it's three five minus one and one and for the alpha and bravo they put it as three four zero and two so you get a little bit more over stability like the purple not enough purple discs i know they're hard to find but uh, good for putting and approaches nice looking discs what do we got next oh another one. Ooh, wow what a difference between the last penny putter yeah it's it's more stiff some people are going to really like that because when you're putting to have your putter have too much give Hard to stay consistent, but when you push back on a disc and it doesn't give that much, easier to stay consistent. At least that's our opinion. And so this would be the V2. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know which one I would like. I think I'm gonna like this one a little better. Uh, however, they do wear a little bit faster, right? So let's keep it going. Ooh, Lone Star Disc, the Harpoon. Super cool name. Looks pretty aggressive right off the bat. I'm feeling a super flat top. Wow. Yeah, this might be one of those like overstable approach discs, really wild sounding and also looking. And it feels a little like di the diameter feels a little, a little wider uh, than something like, I don't know, like, like the zone. The zone feels a little bit smaller than this one. Four, three, zero, two. So it really is meant for 
consistent, confident type throws where you're not afraid to lose it one way or the other. I love these type of discs, these flat top type of discs with some good over stability for forehands, really good torque resistance. One thing I will say though, just upon putting my fingers on this is there's not a ton of room under the rim or just under the, the flight plate of the disc. You can't really get your fingers in there as well. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem, especially considering it's only a four speed, but it's just something to note considering some of their others are a little bit deeper, uh, but just a really, really, really flat top and just feels a little bit wider. Uh, but these are just becoming more and more popular on the market, having a approach, either putter or mid range that you can just put some speed into it and fly straight, but then have that nice fade back. Cool disc, love the name, color's okay, but Still a pretty cool disc. What is this? What the heck is, oh, <laughs> I was like, is this legal? Mini Mad Cat. I bet you these are so popular just from the from the cat. It actually is like a, a actual Frisbee. Like you could actually throw this, I think. I mean, maybe we'll give it to our, our, our newborn. This might be the disc that he or she uses. It's just a mini of one of their more distance drivers. So there's probably one in the box. Still gotta try and throw this anyways, uh, but uh, pretty cool, awesome stuff. Oh, I think we got a few more. Oh, okay, cool. I grabbed two this time. I figure I don't need to spend as much time on these minis. Pretty sweet. Josh knows that we have a kid on the way and that's why he gave us this, I think. That's why he gave us these minis so that our child can grow up with Lone Star Discs, fall in love and only buy Lone Star Discs. I know that's I know that's what you're getting at, but uh, these are so cool. And then this one is the, it's the Mini Midi, I think. Yes, the Mini Midi. I have heard about this disc. Cool. Looks like an overstable style disc. So sweet. Thanks a lot. All right. We got here Lone Star Curl. Hmm. Ooh. Definitely a stiffer, stiffer. You can hear the pop. Just a little bit, a little bit of that heartbeat. Upon looking at it, analyzing it, trying to always remember that above you as well, there's gonna be some understability to this disc. There's gonna be some turn to this disc, but it has to have good glide with a with a top, with a top like that. One of these discs, once again, that can be used by all skill levels, maybe not so much beginners, just because it is quite a high speed unless you get a more base plastic and you get it a little bit lighter. It's a workable type disc, and depending on your skill level, you may really wanna do big turnover shots if you beat it in a little bit and hold a very stable turnover. I could be for your fade disc, honestly, that you throw straight, goes flat, and has a nice fade finish back. Maybe some less skilled players can do nice flex shots with this, even though for someone more skilled, it would just turn over. Uh, good for forehands and backhands. Once again, especially if you uh, want it for forehands, I'd suggest you get it in the alpha so it's a little stiff, it can take that torque. Uh, pretty cool. Different name, different name, the curl. Love it. Keep it going. Ooh, ooh, whoa, like a champion style. It's gotta be Bravo. I'm getting another plastic. Oh yeah, that's Bravo because of that flexibility. Nice little knife on there. Cool with the little kind of kind of wind effect of kind of throwing the knife. Uh, I guess for 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 knife throwing or axe throwing. Okay, I get it. Uh, this disc really reminds myself and my experience of uh, like a boss. So you're always going to get a pretty big fade out of this disc, which everyone needs a good fade disc. You need the disc to come back, especially on those windy days. So. Stay away beginners, even intermediate players are gonna struggle to get the maximum flight out of this disc. But if you're ever just looking for a big fade disc and uh, perhaps you don't have the power, this could be one with a nice kind of skip finish. This disc definitely seems like it's gonna wanna skip off the ground to get around those bends to get to the target. Pretty cool, clear with a nice purple foil font. Awesome stuff. Next up, we got, ooh, the Texas Ranger, Texas Ranger, there's a bead. Good bead on this one. Feels like a uh, kind of like a Rock X3 I used to throw that. Uh, not as much anymore. Five, five, minus one and one. So kind of similar to maybe a Mako, maybe similar to a Buzz as well. This is kind of like their their attempt at a Buzz disc. Obviously, no idea how this flies. This has got to be the Bravo, I think. Oh, this is well glow but more of like a Bravo feel with flexibility. We can see that uh, pretty great. So this is gonna be your touchy disc. Um, one, when you gotta go through 
tree line. Uh, maybe you wanna hold kind of like a nice power turnover as well for like a shorter range. We'll have to see how it flies, but I'm sure it flies pretty well. All right, so I think there's about five left here. Ooh, another harpoon. Ah, uh, this one I probably would prefer myself, um, mainly just because of the more premium plastic for an approach disc. This one is a stiffer run, 175 Alpha. Kind of a cooler look to this one than the other one. I mean, they're very similar. A Little bit of a pinkish hue in there as well. Pretty cool, we've already obviously explained this, but you're really gonna be able to do some great approach shots and maintain that confidence. Next up, oh, here it is. Mad Cat, the Mad Cat, so the, the actual Mad Cat disc and not the Mini. It's a 9.5, and 2. If I were to compare this with this that I'm more familiar with, I would say it's like a Thunderbird. You know, this one can be harder for, for people to get used to, for even intermediate players to get used to. I know that myself from, from experience. I do like the Thunderbird. However, it's hard to, you know, maintain a nice flat flight, but that's not really what this disc is for. It's for really torque resistant shots with forehands, wind shots. Anytime you just really need to count on this disc, be accurate, but still get some distance pretty cool foil definitely a bizarre image it's got to be a little more info regarding this uh but really cool going in we're getting low oh yes oh a premium premium style armadillo i'm saying bravo oh yes really interesting with this rim though i'd have to test it out see if i like it more than like the pig rim or the bird rim honestly you actually really can feel that parting line, which some people are gonna absolutely love to give them that, again, consistent mental confidence. Oh, there were some discs pushed up against the side. I think we got another five more. Thank you, Lone Star Discs. What do we got here? Oh man, the Texas Ranger. Such a cool looking stamp with the flowers. Look at this, LSD. I guess I'm just confused by this stamp. We've already done the Texas Ranger. Like the buzz, their premium version. This one's alpha for sure of how stiff it is. Feels good, beautiful looking disc. I'm loving these whites because I can maybe do some, some great dyes with this. Awesome, can't wait to test these. Moving on. Oh, whoa, okay. 5304, the Walker. 5304, wow, that's, that is some massive, massive fade for a five speed disc. Oh yeah, look at that. So pretty flat, little, just a little roundness at the top, but pretty flat bead at the bottom, a pretty substantial bead. I mean, you're really just looking for trust with this disc. And even though it's a mid range, kind of call it an approach disc as well. Headwind fighting, of course, with the zero four. Not sure if, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll like this disc. I'd love to be able to get it a little bit flat and not just come out too hyzer. And I think that may be possible with the five speed. Uh, definitely a disc where you're looking for some trust. And again, that, that bead is pretty substantial. Some of you may, may not like that and some of you may love it. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, the Lariat, definitely a newer disc. Yeah, so it's a nine, five, minus one and one, kind of like a, just a straight flying disc if you put the correct amount of power. If you don't, you're gonna get more fade, of course. It really seems like this is for maybe weaving shots a little bit, put a little bit more power to get a little bit more turn, but still have that fade back. So um, it really can be good for all skill levels. Um, maybe if you're slower speed, you're a beginner, maybe get the disc a little bit lighter, maybe in the Bravo instead of the Alpha, this one is the Alpha, but you're really meant to just throw it straight and be accurate, but then also add power to get some turn. Like the name, colors, pretty good. This one's a putter for sure. Ooh, yes, I was wondering if I would get this one. It's called the BB-6. It's gotta be a story around this. This is like a zombie kind of robot throwing a pitch and inside the baseball are screws as well. So this is really, really interesting. This has gotta be the Bravo because of its grippiness and flexibility. It's a five, five, minus two and one. So it's for hitting certain lines, really great for hyzer flips, kind of right out of the box with some power, you can get some nice hyzer flips. Big turnover shots is what you could do, use this disc for, especially if you do not have a forehand. If you're not a forehand thrower whatsoever, you're gonna need a disc like this so you can work the disc from left to right if throwing backhands. Players with low power are gonna love this disc. A beginner disc, really like this. Colors are pretty cool too, a little bit of a mixed green. Cool stuff. And now for the final disc sent by Lone Star, what are we gonna end with? Oh, it's a new one too, the MIDI. So we did get the miniature mini MIDI. Look at that, no bead, almost looks like there is. 
you can see by how the rim comes up like that it's going to be overstable pretty good room under 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 this one it's a five five zero three so again that zero three going to be great for torque resistant forehands or any kind of windy day you put a ton of power you can even put maybe a 10 you know 12 speed power into this disc and you're not gonna really lose it to the right. It may also be good for some flex shots. Really cool disc, an awesome amount of discs that they sent us. We're very unfamiliar with Lone Star. First time really feeling them, having them, and obviously we have yet to throw them. Well, there you have it. We've unboxed the 21 Lone Star discs that were sent to us, as well as three minis. We hope that you learned something from this video. It wasn't just an unboxing and taking a look. We tried to provide some insight into these discs so that you guys can get more informed. And of course, if you like our approach with a lot of our videos, don't be afraid to subscribe. Help support the growth of disc golf as well as this channel. And don't be afraid to check out our wonderful Patreon community. It continues to grow and we continue to try and give back as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.